Hey, it's Michael here. Just going to do a quick tutorial on how to uh, export a mesh from Maya uh, into Unreal Engine with collisions. Uh, it, I had a little bit of problems with this when I initially did it because um, I was messing up the file names. And so I'm just going to quickly run through uh, the process of how to do it and things you should consider when you are creating your meshes in Maya and adding a collision um, object to them. So I've created this um, little signpost thing here. It's not perfect. I kind of messed that up, but whatever. Um, so um, you'll see that I've already created a collision um, box for it, and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, so the green outline there is the collisions for it, and then the blue internal lines are the mesh itself. Um, the reason I had so many problems with this in the first place was because of my naming convention was incorrect. Um, I was actually naming the group instead of naming the sub like mesh in, in within the group itself. So when you're doing it, what you want to do is create the name of the object itself. Uh, so in this case, it's sign underscore one, and then the me uh, the collision mesh has to have the uh, uh, the prefix uh, ucx if for in this case, it's a, a convex mesh, which I'll, I'll share a link um, on all the different types of collision meshes. But for in this particular case, it's a UCX um, underscore and then the name of the uh, object which it pertains to. So that's got to be identical to that. Um, and also make sure you're naming it in the don't name this because that won't help um, name this one here. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, um, you want to select both so I'll just go back to show you so this is what it look this is what it will look like this thing here is what uh, things will collide within the engine itself so uh, if I select you'll see that I've got both of these selected uh, we go to file we go to export so no we don't we go to center unreal selection um, and this part never works for me but I'm going to show you what you do so you want to go to uh, da, da, da your folder in which your uh, your Unreal project is. So it's going to be content, uh, geometry, meshes, import um, is where I'm keeping them. Um, yeah, I think it keeps creating weird things. Yeah, so I've got two subfolders, but just for the sake of argument, let's just go with it. Um, and then to keep things from being confusing, call it the same thing that it's called in your Maya project as well. So this is sign underscore one export selection and I've already got Unreal Engine open um, so you'll see it starts blinking down here if I open it up um, oh, if I open it well it's just gonna not give me the whole thing oh cool it's doing this um, do you remember this from Windows 95 um, so you just go import if you're doing multiple meshes you can import all I'm just doing one so I'm just gonna hit import um, ignore that because I haven't done UVs and stuff so it's not gonna be totally happy with me and then you'll see if you've got your content open here on the right, um, which is just with this button here, because um, I keep creating subfolders. Um, it's under import and then under import again. But if we drag it in, um, resize it. The pivots aren't set correctly as well. This is quick and dirty, so you have to forgive me for being a little bit lazy. Um, that will work in the world. I'll open this up in the editor just so you can see as well. Um, so you can see the mesh is shaded. Um, and then the collision is that blue outline again. Um, there's a lot to creating collisions that you need to keep in mind, but um, you can sort of, I can do another tutorial if anyone is interested in it, but I just wanted to do a really quick and simple one just to show you the process and then do, figuring out all the other stuff is pretty simple. Like this is not very good, like that should be higher, etc. Anyway, uh, so if I hit play and I go myself, um, you can see Um, if I wanted to make these collisions a bit tighter, um, it wouldn't, you know, bounce off this empty space underneath, but you'll also see that my player character can't move through it. Um, but yeah, it works. So, you know, practice your circle strafe. And that is how you do collisions really simply with Unreal Engine. Um, so I hope that's helped.